Good morning viewers, here we go, uh, back on the good sea. V85 TT. Just look at all that blackness across there on the left. Guess where we're heading? <laughs> All our blackness on the left, ah oh, bollocks. Tires on other bloody circuses, more circuses around here than out else. At least the roads are dryish. There's the sun peeping through. God, if I'm going to keep riding these um, adventure bikes, I'll get a longer cable for me the USB. I think I got a one that was a meter long. But um, one wrong twist to me heat and it just drives it out the socket. Shit, he's going the same way. That's all we need. There we go. <laughs> the, the vibrations. The balls are like two marbles in a sack. Can he turn it off? And I noticed on here the wheels are the same design as the GS. Looks canny. I'll show you later on when we get a, a stop. When I was having me show before, I was thinking, is this a fair comparison against the GS? I don't know. You tell me. They're both adventure bikes. I suppose they're both aspiring for the same sort of customer. But because this hasn't got the power as the GS, it's maybe it's better to compare it against, I don't know, the baby, uh, baby tiger. Since they both have the same about the power-ish. Give or take a horse either way. <laughs> Go, Shergo! Of course, the younger viewers will be thinking, who the fuck is Shergo? Ah, Google it, man, Google it.
Let's drive on that up here, eh? So before, my youngest, before she left from school, to go to school the day, can I come with you when we take your bike back? Can I come with you? <laughs> hey, the youngins there. Eh? The road looks slippy, eh? In the damp patches. I suppose always in the damp patches is slippy, eh? Hey! Has a good sound about it, like when you pull that throttle back. Oh, I should have googled up them fucking lights. I don't know, I mean. Ah, oh, she's dampish up here, though. And the bike has ABS, as uh, Stephanie from uh, Renault Motorrad told us, and you can turn uh, the traction control off on the back end if you're on an enduro. But I haven't got the the skills for that anymore in the old enduro. And then again, it's just practice, I suppose, just practice. When I was younger, mind you, bloody hell. 15, 16, 17, 18 and I had my hill bikes I even started off on the hills North, North Northumberland Cheviot Hills on a DT50 Yamaha obviously you could have a lack of power you're zigzagging up the hills to keep it going you know and I got myself a, an older one a DT125 and um, I chucked, what was it? I think it was a 92 sprocket on the back. Oh, it went anywhere. And if, any, if anybody knows the area, it's, I took two of us, well, me and a pillion, up Cheviot, up the Cheviot. Or back down again. Bye, it was good. Those were the days. Young and daft, eh? sinking back as well you're riding on them hills and they friggin helmets <laughs> used to come back stone deep from the wind you know fucking hell so youngins didn't be daft wear a helmet eh oh fucking hell man keep going young and keep going They've been pulling out, how am I going to overtake? Oh, there's a strange smell in here. It smells like diarrhea, they must have been spraying the fields. It's not me. I don't think this has got heated grips. I haven't noticed the the button and she didn't say no, so maybe it hasn't. One thing I tell you, this switch here for the headlights uh, for flashing or uh, main beam, sometimes you catch it with your finger and slap it on the main beam just by mistake, you know. 
That means if it had been, you know, tenth of an inch further to the right, it might have been a bit better. Oh, maybe it's just me. But this is all about my opinion because it's my YouTube channel. When it's my opinion that counts. <laughs> It may be a load of shite to somebody, but it's my opinion. And they walk nonsense either. Go on, please turn right. Please turn right. Which way are you turning? Ah, oh, you fucking nut, are you? Can you hear how you quickly can do in the gearbox? A clunk, 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 clunk. Your nuts in gear, that's one thing, eh? <laughs> yeah, we got a ricking back. All these little tunes have a nice canny church in them, like you know. I hope those gear changes pick up on my uh, microphone. I'm wearing the same jeans as yesterday, and as I said in the last tip, your backside it doesn't slide on this seat in these jeans. I don't know if it's just the jeans. I should have put my leathers on to see if that made any difference. You know, you like to reposition your cheeks every now and again. Now, because it's a good idea here. Well, yeah, they don't want you moving on in the seat. Oh, there's the sun coming out. Da, 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 da. Fucking hell. Ten degrees down here. Ho, ho, ho. Windy Miller. Younger, younger, younger. And we're almost in friggin' June. Ten degrees. The old marbles have shrank. They're probably peas by now. <laughs> When you whip that throttle back, it's not a great uh, surge of power. I think the Italian horses must be half sleeping. Oh, 
and I want that back brake as well. I'd alter the lever if it was my bike. It's quite a push down onto it to get out. traffic lights. And you, when you get a handful of handle and um, get your foot right down, she stops you. I like the lever, so and the foot pegs look at the yark forks on there, upside down forks, canny size well you can't alter them that's past my experience level, I normally just leave it to what it is until I'm shown how to do it Well, I see here where the UBS is, there's another cutout panel here, I suppose you can put another one in if you wanted to. <laughs> How are Audi man, shift your ass. So the bike's got, what, uh, 1,718 kilometres on it, so it's just over a thousand miles. It's a point of fucking braking, man. Jesus, how where? Now coming, we'll just whip it back. Fourth gear, there we go. I suppose you've got to plan your attacks a little bit with this. Compare it to the Trident to be off like a bullet. I think this, if this had a, a few more horsepower, I think it could be the dog's bollocks like. Because I was checking on uh, Mobile DE, that's the German website for second hand cars or, uh, and bikes, or new ones as a matter of fact. And this was coming in at around, uh, if I remember rightly, about 11,000 euros new. 11,000, 12,000? Something like that. Shite, I can't remember. <laughs> Getting old, you know. So in the end, it's half the price of a GS. Half the price. So is it half the bike? Nah, it's not half the bike. Well, we'll take some... Uh, we're going to run it later on with the other camera. We'll have a look. I think it's a canny looking machine. So maybe it's a bit of a Marmite bike, but I like it. I do. And I noticed, I don't think this is the original screen because it's Givy on it. I noticed that earlier on. So I don't know if it's supplied the original or is this the original? I don't think, I don't think this is the original. I think the original is a smaller one. But folks, you know what the D, didn't you? Slap the computer on and Google it. Somebody learning to drive there. And I think it was the last of this year already in ours to wave to bikes. I like it myself a riding buddy. Because all us isn't interested in all this stuff, so. 
there you go. It's canny looking pods, look at that hoose there man, yeah? That canny. So Wallace has uh, had an operation last couple of weeks on her knee. Unfortunately, the doctor didn't fix her gob though. That's still as loose as ever. <laughs> so going to work, coming home, doing a bit of cooking because she kind of dean out. Oh man, absolutely shagged out. And this week I've only got the one day off, which is today. I hired this last night and I've got another five shifts coming up. 11 o'clock in the morning till 9 at night. So I'll leave the house at 9 o'clock in the morning and I'll get home around 10 o'clock at night. Oh man, long fucking days. But it is what it is. Pays the bills, eh? Puts the petrol in the tank on the bikes. Pays for this rental. Look at the colour of that now. That's canny. I always wish when I first came to Germany I should have bought somewhere to live instead of renting. Now it's too late. But it is what it is, eh? No point looking backwards, look forward. Looking forward, I'll be 66 in a couple of months. 65, 66, what is it? Fuck a wall, don't I? No, not 66, you silly twat. 56! <laughs> I slapped the 10 years on there. 56! Fucking hell, man. So anyway, I'll be 56 in a couple of months. Getting close to retirement age, and I can't fucking wait. Ah, shite stuck behind these fucking two, man. I notice when you pull the front brake on, you don't get a bite straight away. You have to get a handful. But it's all part of the joys of learning to ride the Gutsy. As I said on one of my tapes on the old GS, I think anybody could just jump on that and ride it. It's so rider friendly. Nay hassles. But this, I think you've got to ease yourself into it and learn yourself to ride it. And once you do, you get into the joys of it. Oh, a little bit of a straight road in the two, you bloody speed up, man. Shit. But then again, we're not on a boy racer machine. Would you call this an old bloke's bike? Oh, I don't know. You lot will have to tell us that. Don't feel old riding it. <laughs> I like this dash though, display. It's canny. It's a bit floppy like, I don't know. But it's I like it. The blue I like actually like the, the night one when you which I showed you in one of the tapes we got in the tunnels. 
Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to ride it last night. It was absolutely lashing it down, and I was knackered. Absolutely knackered. I've been up since 2 o'clock from the early shifts. So, unfortunately, as they say, you can only piss with the cock you've got. Oh, that. These two are fucking crazy, man. You come to a street, you put your foot down, you come to some bends or a little hump in the road, and you slow down. I hope you're not going all the way I'm gone. So see, I'll put a link for uh, the page, because it's a German like, for uh, Renault Motor Rad on their rentals. Now you can figure it out, it's no hassles. It's all rocket science. And if you call them up, ask to speak to Stephanie. She specs, speaks, she specs, she speaks the lingo. So when you pick when they run say then they'll say hello, this is Reno Motorrad. You can say hello not hello, hello. Wie geht's dir? Then she'll say ah good. Then you say Chuligum Sprechen mit Stephanie, bitte schön. Then you can go straight into the lingo. All right, Steph, how's it going? <laughs> then he can say, I'm coming from the island of dreams and I want to rent a bike for a weekend. Can I have such and such? All they need is your driver license and your passport. Right, these two at the end, they better not be turning bloody right or I'm going to scream. You know, all these little towns here have a cork and football pitch. You know? Look at that. That's uh, plastic, by the way. That's not grass. But even so, they either have a good grass one or they have a good plastic one. No matter how small the tune is. Oh shit, there's one gone war way. That one's gone shopping. I'm not going to sit behind this all the friggin' way. Oh, thank fuck for that. And here we go. <laughs> Goodsy power.
Stop there, stop there, stop there. See, I'll have to go into the Triumph shop and see if I can get a shot on the baby trident. Uh, not the baby trident, baby tiger. And see what that's like. Smell the cow shit in the air again. Oh, oh, we're going this way. We're going this way. Still 10 degrees. Oh, tell me, my feet, your hands are getting a bit. Maybe you should have should have had heated grips on. But why wouldn't that come a stand at this day and age? Yeah. A bit of gravel in the middle of the road there. I don't like that, do we? Tell you what we'll do, we'll have a look at this car park and I'll do me a little bit of video of the bike in there, that backdrop.
Thank you. 